Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I said I was going to try and get something done with the Keeper, so I'm going to try and get something done with the Keeper. We finished Greed Mode, which is nice and all, so now the actual part that sucks. I'm going to reset until I get a good item in the item room that spawns right next to me, so prepare for that. And then I'm going to hope that I get either a piggy bank or a swallowed penny. Hold on to that for the rest of the run so that I basically can't die unless I mess up picking a coin up before getting hit again. Now that guy would spawn flies for me since you can't get uh, heart drops with the keeper. You only get kamikaze flies instead. Which is pretty cool actually. That's uh, the nicest thing about this character. I don't check curse rooms by the way because chances are I'm just dead for entering one. Hmm. Let's try this start. Here's the seed. Is this a controlled dude? Does a decent amount of damage. Hopefully I can get BFFs. Why not? Let's see what's going to happen. Oh good, I have Curse the Maze now. Let's see, there's... This is the only pushable one. For whatever reason, you push really quickly when you touch a wall. I don't know what's up with that, but that is the case. So this way I don't really have to worry about the fact that I have triple shot, uh, and of course, easy not to know triple shot's actually really bad. So you know, fun fact, it's more of a disadvantage than an advantage, it doesn't scale well with a lot of things. Uh, and you're very unlikely to hit with more than one or two tiers. It's pretty much impossible to hit with all three if you're not uh, right next to an enemy. Or the enemy is not gigantic. The triple shot's a huge detriment overall. Especially for the fire rate. And also, it doesn't spawn with triple shot as an item. So you can still find that item. I wouldn't recommend taking it. Oh good, we get some speed. Which we uh, don't normally have as this character. With two bombs, I'm going to blow up some pots. Swallowed Penny again. Would be pretty huge. So I'm going to clear a little more of this floor. Just for a tiny bit of the hunt. But I also would like to make Boss Rush. Since that would be a kind of big deal. I'm gonna go. So, boss rush is of course one of the things I haven't done. I've only done greed mode, so I have to do everything. Heart, boss rush, cathedral chest, mega satan, hush. Uh, shill, dark room. Gotta do them all. Ideally, I can get the hardest stuff out of the way first. Hardest stuff being a uh, hush chest, or not chest, a uh, hush dark room. Mega Satan. But Mega Satan's not hard so much as it is getting the right build to get to it. Another nice thing about the character, you have a 1.2 damage multiplier, which is pretty solid. I mean, that's uh, game level. Tied for second best in the game, I think. Or no, third best. Although I don't know what Lilith this is. So maybe it's fourth, but I don't, I don't really know, like I said. Spiders can't hurt me. It's like a Skatol, but for spiders. Solid, honestly, spiders are dangerous. Be nice if there were more pots. Honestly, really nice having this item. BFFs, I, I need BFFs, like, badly. It would also be huge if I could pick up a uh, box of friends, but I doubt I can. But BFFs and box of friends would make this a really, really, really good run uh, because of this item I have. Uh, Blue Baby's only friend, of course. That'd be freaking amazing. Sadly, it looks like I can't pull it off. Unless I get quite lucky here. Don't do this to me. Okay. It's 
Seems like it's moving pretty fast, which is good. And as you might be able to tell, this is way better than the Keeper's DPS could ever hope to be this early. That'll just be a ton of flies. It's normally full health and uh, four soul hearts. Yeah, four soul hearts since the one. So I'm on a good pace here, potentially, just like... There's not really anything to do to get the money I need. BFFs would be so unreasonably huge for this build. And I just can't get it. <sighs> Phil can't screw me that badly. Alright, now I can go to the boss challenge room, see if it's got anything I care about. At the very least, I've got that going for me then. Though I'm now worried about death. Dying on this run would be pretty sad since it's such a good run. Okay, we're fine. And now I can buy BFFs. Alright, pin. Goodbye. Perfect. Uh, that was something I was thinking of doing, but didn't really want to, because I didn't want to risk death, but it worked out. So doubling the damage and increasing the size of this familiar uh, will make this a run. And this is actually winnable now, like just because of that pickup. So, just gotta hope for some good luck otherwise. <sighs> See, this is just so much DPS. Especially in the early game. Later in the game it'll fall off a little, but it won't even be that bad then. It's like having a good Ludo. Which is kind of funny, because that's really hard to have. Good one. Good one. Good one. I love Curse of the Maze. Thanks. Tears up, shot speed up. Not a bad thing to have. Uh, of course I can't take the knife, so it doesn't even matter. Triple knife would be nice, but I it costs coin health, which I don't have to spare. Could you not? Oh well. This curse, oh my goodness. Quit being scum prime here. I'm worried about when I actually get hit, though. Like, at that point. Haven't found, like, any coins. Okay, I can get a coin here. And it's easy and worth it. Because I get the bombs back, too. Just stand far back. Oh, I was even a luck up. What a nice guy. So now I'm only at negative one luck, since this character spawns at negative two. Really, really great, by the way. Gotta love that. Okay, that'll die immediately. I think I might have actually killed it with a tear by accident. Kind of funny. I need flight. I just can't really get it, because of Devil Rooms not being viable. Friend Ball. Actually good. Don't know what a good enemy to catch is, but. D4, build reroll. Pass on that. Immunity to explosions and a chance when I get hit by a tier to uh, shoot back three of my tiers. It's honestly a great pickup. My luck is not bad right now. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Because I want to get, uh, I want to get boss rush done and whatnot. Not taking friend ball because of all the fighting I'd have to do over it, and because I don't know what enemies to pick up. Never used it effectively. So we're just gonna go with what we know. 
go with what we got. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I only have two bombs, but whatever. Clean bedroom, so... Right, you can't do this with red hearts anyway. Forgot that the coins count as red hearts, so that's you can't take damage on a floor at all if you want to earn <laughs> Devil Room. It's great. Or Angel Room, of course. Really awesome character. You can't go into boss challenge rooms unless you're a one coin. Just top-notch stuff right here. Hey, buddy. You're tiny and cute. Don't remember what the blister does. All these afterbirth trinkets that I never have to use for any reason. Is there another dude? There is. Epiphora. All right, I don't know how much this uh, works with this item. The triple shot. I'm just gonna test real quick. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. As long as you're shooting in the same direction, you're getting the tears up. Uh, but it takes a very long time to charge and doesn't go between rooms, so it's not that good. Especially when your fire rate's this bad. Like, if your fire rate's pretty good, uh, it's just a nice bonus and it's easy to use and whatnot. But with something like this, it's not worth it. It would seem. These guys will all die in one hit. I can. Wow, screw you, buddy. There goes my angel room, hopeful. At least I recovered. Really wanted that angel room though. Okay, easy fight. Health up, of course, not actually health up for me. A uh, chance when I get hit to drop a full red heart, which would just be a kamikaze fly. Try and make this work, man. You know, this is a really way better run than I was hoping for. Like, I've got some defense. I don't have piggy bank or swallowed penny, though, which kind of sucks. I have some defense. I have a good offensive item that lets me play really safely. to be expected. Liberty cap, chance for random mushroom effect every room, uh, one of which is the compass, because why not? Okay, this room I'm going to shoot everything. Getting a bunch of money is valuable, making it a 50% chance to be worth two, or, well, one extra cent valuable for that room. I could have saved it in case I got hit, but I'm really planning on not getting hit. If I have any say in the matter. Who are you? Moves floor curse, gives a soul heart, which means flies, and I got ghost baby. Which shoots spectral tears, why not, basically? I'll keep going. Boss Rush will be really hard if I don't get, like, an Angel Room with Flight in it. Or Flight from a Golden Chest or something, but I'm not getting any Golden Chests, probably because of my negative luck. Don't walk into that, please. Don't shoot me. Yeah, I would really, really love Flight. Flight would be huge. Okay, that can't be the Secret Room like I was hoping it would be. That's the secret room. I don't need that. Good stuff. Like my kill times are good. And that's really saying something for this character. Get one more dude. Got my charge back, that's good. Wow, that's unfortunate. 
It was avoidable though, so. It sucks to be me, basically. Do the laser, thanks. So no devil or angel room for me once again. Speed up, shot speed up, that's good. I need coin real quick. If nobody minds, I'm just gonna go blow up the uh, machine or shoot these first, see if one of them wants to give me one. Cool, I'm out of here then. So this is the problem I was talking about with Keeper. Any damage is just, you lose your devil room basically. It's not like I played badly there. It's just a simple, unfortunate mistake. That'll tell me where uh, black markets are as well, and shiny rock. But I don't need it. Is that just um, rocks flash every 10 seconds or when you enter a room? If they have a, if they're a tinted rock or have a black market or crawl space under them? It's a solid trinket. It's not one I'm very interested in right now. Alright, show me the shop. If only I had a Swallowed Penny or a Piggy Bank. But maybe I will. I really don't see this as a Mega Satan run though. Like it's good for just getting plain stuff done, but I don't think it's good for getting hard stuff done. This is probably a run I take to the chest. Rubber cement's huge. It means I might actually use my tears a little bit. That's not what I was hoping for. It's the last shop too. Dang. So my tears bounce around. Can hit the same enemy multiple times is the only way for that to be possible, which is awesome. Uh, it lets you do a lot more damage, especially if an enemy's next to a wall. Great. High shots being high range are huge as well. Uh, the, also, the bounces are kind of intelligent, so they try to bounce sort of towards enemies when possible, when reasonable. You know, can't be upset about that. It's a great item. I don't think this is a hush run. I don't have anything to generate money, but I'm gonna try my best to take it to the freaking. It's not good news. Okay. Almost had the kill. Okay, angel room, chest run. Open the chest. Angel room isn't Sacred Heart. Thank you for being the easier angel. Got a Mega Satan piece. Explosivo is not a good idea. But Tiny Planet might be. I'm gonna go for it. Let's see, where's the item? Let's leave this on him. Appreciate if you die. Hey, thanks. Tiny Planet might be a good idea with this. Bouncing tears that kind of stay in a good spot. Sadly, I don't get a key piece for this, but... Dang, I'm dead. Did you die? Like, there's nowhere for me to get money in here. I'm dead. 100%. Oh well. I'll do that. No thanks? I mean, that's what you get when you don't get anything to uh, drop coins. Even relatively consistently. And I'm still scared of when death spawns. Death being the hardest part of this entire 
endeavor. Alright, dude. Yep, there he is. Wow, really, Larry? Oh well, got time for another attempt. So that's kind of what happens when you don't just become ridiculously powerful and you try to rely on something that takes skill with the keeper. But hey, I'm not gonna attempt it again. But it's got potential. So sadly, I didn't accomplish anything with that run. Uh, that's to be expected, but it still sucks. Hopefully I can just get a Chaos card for Hush. Otherwise, I'm in for some pain. I got it first try on the stream save. Like, first time to Hush, I got the kill with Keeper. I don't know how, but hopefully I can somehow pull that off again. I've never seen this item. That's rather good, except that I got bad stuff. Oh well. I might do um, Keeper every other run for a little bit to just try and get some stuff out of the way. Not sure though. It really does suck and I don't want to play it generally. But I gotta get it done. Gotta actually get 100% this time since I didn't rebirth. Because the old Lost was just not conducive to YouTube stuff. It's all right though. There's the blind again. Three dollar bill, no chance. That'll kill me. And by the way, I wouldn't start piggy bank or uh, swallow penny. I think for those as extras rather than actual runs. Uh, they are tedious to play with. If you're not powerful, if you're powerful, they're useful because then they're just insurance. But if you're not powerful, they just uh, make a slow, painful run. Alright, triple F fetus, let's go for it. Let's see how this turns out. Of course, we can blow up all the pots, which is nice. That was pretty scary, actually. This gives me a lot more viability. Kind of nice. If I could hit these dudes. Last radius isn't as good as I want it to be. One survivor. Not for long, though. I was just checking for any pots that I missed. Hmm, right. Get all those. Good stuff. Bloody penny. Sure, chance to get a kamikaze fly when I pick up a coin, basically. 50% chance for a half red heart drop. Dang it, on uh, coin pickup. Uh, take that. Be recovered and whatnot. Uh, it seems that Epic Fetus doesn't affect flies. That's not entirely surprising. Okay, let's uh, find the top secret room. Which I guess is going to be off of this here room right here. Alright. What do you got, boss? Ragman? Dead. Uh, range of tears up, and uh, three random heart drops. I guess I should go to all the shops, considering that I can just bomb as many times as I want, and that's what the donation machine is for at this point. I should make sure to actually get things done with this character if possible.
Yep, getting flies randomly. Humbling bundle, all um, penny key and uh, bomb drops, and four red heart drops are doubled. And PhD just because good pills, why not? Pills can only be good or neutral now, but there are a lot of bad neutral pills, so it doesn't really matter that much. So that's, that's nice. Alright, totally a neutral pill, you're right. Of course being one of the many bad pills that are considered neutral by the game. Just incorrect, but that's how it goes. Okay, so I've got a full health pill. I'll kill you. So the problem is, this is kind of slow as a build. It's powerful, but it's not actually the fastest thing I could have. Not by a long shot. Another nice uh, side effect of having Humbling Bundle, by the way. Lucky pennies can be told apart from regular pennies because they can't spawn doubled. They can only spawn as single uh, pennies. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the nails, 1.5 damage up and increase knockback on my tiers. Huh, look, it's the wooden nickel. 50% chance for a coin drop. Usable every room. So that's cool. I don't have any keys at the moment. Have done that. Should always use this in the room that you uh, are entering for optimal whatnotery. Whoa, buddy, that was close. Need to earn my devil room so I can get angel rooms, man. Ouch. And yeah, you know whatnotery. Show me a swallow penny, please. Good damage output. Speed up by 0.6, range and shot height up by a lot. That's fine. Alright, I'm out. Just gonna leave without it. At least I've got the wooden nickel. That'll be quite helpful. Got you, it's fine. Should blow all these up. Chance of magic mushroom. At the same time, I am going to be a bit lazy about it because I would like to take this to boss rush if possible. Well, at least the flies have got this handled. Since I clearly don't. Cool. Check this out. It's a black market. I don't believe it. Problem is, I can't really take anything from it, and I have cursed the blind, so it doesn't even matter. That's that's good. Pull these guys up for angel room chance. Got a ton of money, which is good. Shop isn't viable this floor. I think I'm just going to leave without the item room as well because of Curse of the uh, Blind. And then just hope for Angel Room. Awesome. Cube Meat. Sweet. Bible. Instant Heart Kill, but not that appealing to me. And then a Key Piece. Awesome. Alright, let's just go. Emergency contact uh, picks up an enemy or boss and removes it from the room, which is nice. It actually does work on bosses. So cube of meat blocks tears, uh, contact damage to enemies. It's a good dude. Seven per hit, by the way. 
can use this more often, technically. Homing does work with Epic Fetus, which is pretty cool, but that also means it's kind of dangerous. That was actually pretty scary as a room. Dang. Messed up on my spacing. What do you got? A lot of rerolls. That is useless. That is not useless. Eden's Blessing. 0.7 tiers up and a... Uh, guarantee of an item on spawn on the next uh, run I start. All right. That doesn't actually screw you over. Funny bug, once you learn that it's not going to hit you. All right, spider mod and pay to play. So spider mod, enemies now have health bars. Whoa. Uh, and damage numbers show up, doing 140.6 damage. That's pretty cool. Hematemesis. Oh, that actually works, dang. I should have known it would, but it doesn't count as damage, so that's fine. There you go. Uh, and pay to play gives you five cents and makes it so that uh, key doors only cost money to open, uh, one cent each. So that's actually pretty nice. What are you? Balls of steel, so some Balls. flies. Awesome, second key piece. This is a size down, tears up, soul heart. So will put the Bible in a bunch of pools, but I've already picked up the Bible, so it's just a bunch of flies. Which is nice. Alright, so Mega Satan's possible. What I really just need now is money generation that's consistent within a room. Yeah, I have no reason to take advantage of that. That was stupid of me. At least I recovered, but, well, I guess I don't need Devil or Angel rooms now, so. Doesn't matter so much that I lost the chance for the floor. Okay, what would be most excellent would be getting a dry baby. I uh, should use the lovers, because it's just flies. Moon, secret room, teleport, it's good, but I don't need it. So now I, I really should start taking advantage of my use item and just leave money lying around. Could be a secret room, but it isn't. Because leaving money lying around is just, I can recover. Kind of silly that I haven't been, but I've been confident up to that point. Ooh, almost just died. Thanks, buddy. Oh yeah, so if the spider from spider mod comes in contact with an enemy, it uh, gives it a random status effect. Just a nice guy thing for it to do for me. Let's knock this around. Unlimited bombs for the floor. Completely unnecessary, I'm not gonna bother. That's probably my secret room though. Let's find out. Thought so. I should leave that lying around, of course, but it's okay. Got a lot of resources. Humbling Bundle does that. Best case scenario is I can kill these dudes and not spawn more before finishing the room. And then finish killing these. So that I don't have to fight the enemies that I spawn by doing so. Strength. 
All stats up for room includes the 1.5 multiplier. It's a magic mushroom. I really don't need all of this, but hey. I have max money now. Calm down, buddy. That's not useful. So this is only depths one. That's what I thought. Hermit already went to the shop. I honestly feel like emergency contact could be really valuable. Oof. Scary room. At least it's not as stupid as it was in the original. In the original it was just actually just straight up unfair a lot of the time. There was a strat for it, but it was still a garbage room. Tech 2, you know, I'll pass on that. Not worth. Operating. Wheel of Fortune, nah. That's not gonna get it. I didn't think so. Thank you. Good luck. Should be easy enough. It's fine. I really wish I had flight right now. Might be a really, really darn big deal. All right, no greed in the shop. It's the plus side. Okay, so that's a mini boss up there. Oh no, it's a boss challenge room. Almost damaged myself. That was sucked. Use that. Hide. Life is good. Decided I should do that room properly, otherwise. Oh my god, no. Screw that room. I could have checked in there. That's fine. I don't need to. Fine. Bunch of pins. Yeah. That's fine. What do you got this time? Marked. I don't want that with Epic Fetus. I assume it doesn't do anything, but in case it does, that would be horrible, and I want nothing to do with it. That is, uh, you uh, control a crosshair, and you always shoot in the direction of that crosshair. So you can see why that would be a bad thing with Epic Fetus, probably. Why am I an idiot? I just, like, became an idiot suddenly. Okay. I'm getting there. I am going to attempt to boss rush with this. In the event it doesn't work out, I will be very sad. Alright, BFFs is good. Chaos card, well, gotta take that. Instantly kills uh, whatever I use it on. Which means I've got my hush kill set. It means I have to make it through boss rush, otherwise would be a very sad, sad man. Oh, this is bad. No! Come on. Uh, 
I need to go pick up some money. That was really stupid. I don't know why I did that before clearing the room. Alright, we have done what matters. Of course it's Blue Mom. This is a dark room run. Devil room's not valuable. Really, this is how you want to play me? Like, really, really? All right, use it, get the health. We're in good shape. This is a valuable, valuable item. This will clear boss rush for me on its own, pretty much. Give me death early. There is, of course, something to be said for not using this and instead using um, the wooden nickel. But more bodies, less risk. Everything should be okay. And I also don't want to go on the spikes again to pick up the wooden nickel. With BFFs doubling damage of all my familiars, this is pretty big. As far as usefulness is concerned. <sighs> okay, good. Hard part of death is done. Now death is in fact done as well. Hope I don't uh, choke anything. It'd be mighty sad if I didn't get uh, dark room and everything done. Hush especially. Hush is like a way bigger deal. Is a scary dude. Good, we're fine. Whoops. That was close. Would have been very bad to mess up there. I mean, I've cleared a lot of waves. But. I need to clear every wave. Bodies can shine. Work one. Where are you being? Where are you being? Cool. Sticky nickels. You know the best. Okay, I'm gonna stick with what's safe. Good as that item is, of course. So that's boss rush done. Now, as long as I don't choke, we've got the heart. We've got hush, which is especially important. We've got shoal, and we've got the dark room, which is all of the hard stuff. Please, no, don't be this guy. I'm an idiot. Oh well, at least we got one thing done. Nope, oh, I choked. Getting bad luck with two in a row sucks, but like, come on, that room was doable. I killed myself, technically. Uh, that was really unfortunate. I had the perfect setup to get everything hard done, but at least we got one thing done. Uh, let's look at it that way. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.